Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I'm going to create a two layouts, the guest layout and the auth layout. In the guest layout, I'm going to add the login and register. I'm going to remove the navigation and show the navigation only in the auth layout. In the auth layout, I'm going to add the home and I'm going to protect. So if we are not logged in, we cannot navigate to the home page. Right now we are logged in, but if I log out and go to the home, we can, if we are not logged in, we can navigate directly to the uh, login. Okay, so let's open the VS code. And first what I'm going to do, I'm going to create inside the source directory, a new directory, and I'm going to name it pages. And inside here, I'm going to move the home login and register. So inside here. Okay, now we have all the pages here. I'm going to create also a new directory, name it layouts. Uh, we can create them in the components at here and create two layouts. So the out layout and also one more for the guest layout. Let's add the React Arrow function with export and the same here. Okay. Now in the out layout, we need to check if we if we are uh, authenticated. So for that, we need to get the user from the context from here. Let's do that. Let's come here and let's import the use auth context. And we are going to get from there. So let's say const get the user from the auth use auth context. And also we need the outlet. So here I'm going to say if we have the user return the outlet from react and make sure you import up here. Otherwise, I'm going to navigate and also import the navigate from the react router down to the login. So slash login and let's close this. So if we have a user at outlet, otherwise navigate to the login. Now the, uh, this is for the auth layout for the guest layout is the opposite of this one. So let's come here and let's, let's close this. Let's import, let's copy from auth and paste it here because it's the same just the opposite. And now instead of saying if we have the user, if we don't have the user, otherwise return to the home page. And let's save this. Let's go now inside the app.jsx. Here we have imported only for all from the home we need from the pages like this. Also, we need to import the layout. So let's say import auth layout and also the quest layout. Let's close this navigation. And in here, I'm going to protect this home for the auth. So let's cut and let's say route and add the element, which is going to be the auth layout. Let's close this. And now I'm going to close like this and inside paste the home. And let's do the same thing for the login and register. But here we need to add the guest layout. So route with element, which is going to be 
glass layout set close and now copy that and move it right here uh, not copy but cut okay so save so we add the home inside the out layout and the login and register inside the gas layout let's save and let's navigate in the browser and see we are redirecting to the login if i click here as you can see we are directed to the login now let's log in here let's say john dot dot com add the password and we are on the home but if i try to navigate to the slash login we redirected back to the login and that's it because we redirected and we lost the user in the context but we have the user if we go to the home and make a get request we have the user so what we are going to do for that i'm going to go to the home in the pages we have home here and we make a get user for so what i'm going to remove from here so cut and also remove the user the get user and the use effect let's save and let's go now inside the auth context and move it here that uh, use effect to get the user and i'm going to say use effect just to import up here and if i save uh, we are ready to the home and let's navigate again to the slash login and yeah because right now we call the get user in the out context and we have the user very good but as i said i want to so let's log out and let's go to the home yeah i want to remove this navigation from the guest layout for that i'm going to close this and let's go in the app.js here we have this navigation i'm going to cut this one and move it also as you can see we need to import the logout and the user because we use them in the navigation so let's cut this and let's go inside the out oh, layout here i want to add oh, i'm going to add the navigation first paste the navigation and then also the outlet move it up here and as i said we need also to import the user and log out from the use out context and we have the user but also the logout so let's import the logout here and remove also the use context we need also the link let's save this and let's import also the link from the reactor router dom so link and let's save and let's see now if yeah we don't see that navigation here okay but as you can see we have this white here white space because in the app.js we add the i'm going to remove this class this div here and now yeah let's go and log in let's say john dot dot com and add the password okay john do yeah and now yeah we have the navigation but you can see we right now we have here the name john and that's it because in the home we need to add 
in the home page yeah we have this div with user let's add a class name to be max width of a 7xl mx auto and margin top of a 12 let's say and now we have the john here log out we redirect it here and we don't see the navigation but yeah we have the errors because we had last time we need when we register or login we can say set errors to an empty array and also in here so set errors to an empty array okay and let's join so if we are not logged in and we are not user we can go and sign up or go and sign in here let's go and sign in let's say john dot dot com and add the password and yeah now we navigate here okay friends that's it about this video i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much